R2-D2 stands for Second Generation Robotic Droid Series 2 and has appeared in 11 of the 12 Star Wars films to date. Astromix are used in various starfighters as onboard flight support and can operate in the vacuum of space. Throughout the decades, there were a few notable robots including the 1999 American animated science fiction action film The Iron Giant, Wall E by Pixar, Ed 209 from Robocop, Johnny 5 from Short Circuit, DNLD, BB-8, C-3PO, and R2-D2 from Star Wars. Even though these robots in their own rights were popular for their time, they weren't as universally recognizable or as popular as R2-D2. The original R2-D2 was designed by George Lucas and legendary artist Ralph McQuarrie, who drew inspiration from the cartoon series Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Several R2-D2 models were built for the original Star Wars film, one that was remotely controlled and traveled in three legs, and the other one which was worn by English actor Kenny Baker. Beginning his service with Queen Padme of Naboo, R2-D2 later served Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker during the years of the Galactic Republic, often accompanied by C-3PO. Fortunately for R2-D2, he has managed to avoid a routine deletion of his memory, as a result has developed a very distinct personality. Because of the quickness in utilizing the Pacific Arm, it often gave the illusion that he has an endless supply of tools, while R2-D2 contained many specialized gadgets. He was also quite good at taking the initiative and often employed unconventional means to help his friends. R2-D2 was an R2 series astromech droid manufactured by the industrial automaton with masculine programming. Let's start with his head. He had a primary photoreceptor, process state indicator, and a kernel optical holographic projector. A holographic projector was a device that could record, send, receive, and display hologram. And where you come from? I saw part of the message. He w I seem to have found it. General Kenobi. On his cylindrical body were the system ventilation, the high power recharge coupling, and the system diagnostic port. The system ventilation was to keep the inner mechanics cool, but could also help limit the amount of heat being generated from the machine. While the diagnostic port was used to access the R2 computer for various tasks, system tests, and diagnostic. He travels on three legs, one of which could retract into his body. The joy featured two power bus cables on both his legs, connected to a small power cell found under his body. On the back is also a secondary optical holographic projector. The Archerain main drive tread were used for traction on all kinds of surfaces, including on and off road conditions. An R2 unit monitors flight performance, pinpoints and fixes technical palm, and can carry out hyperspace calculation. Let's start with the R2 body. There was a mechanical grasper arm. On top of his head was the electrical shock probe, which was used to emit a brief electrical discharge. R2-D2 periscopic visual system allows him to see what other droids of his height might not. His scanner can transmit and receive signal and can also detect as many different types of life form. You be more careful. The in-flight grasp of maintenance arm was generally used for maintenance and repair of starships and related technology. Near the system ventilation was the utility saw. The saw can rotate at high speed in order to cut through a variety of objects. In addition, there was also the universal computer interface arm that saved Luke, Leia, Han, and Chewbacca from being crushed by the Death Star trash compactor.
The Brooks Propulsion Booster Turbine or Rocket Booster were incorporated into the two sided mounted legs of the Astromech, allowing them to achieve flight for a short period of time. The R2 unit is about 1 meter or 3 feet 6 inches in height and weigh about 39 kg. R2-D2 is the unsung hero of the Star Wars franchise. The Little of Joy has fought alongside multiple generations of Skywalkers and has been an integral part of the Clone Wars and the Rebel Alliance fight for freedom. So what are your thoughts on the R2-D2? Leave your comment below and if you want to see more technical 3D animation, check out my playlist in the right hand corner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.